What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video troopers, we're going to be talking about how to level up fast in Battlefield 2042. I've done a couple of these videos before and they have been very helpful for a lot of new players and especially for people who are already playing the game as well. Want to rank up, unlock their specialist, tier 1 them, tier 1 weapons and so much more. If this is the first time, this is the best time to watch this video because I'm going to help you how to level up really fast. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, would really appreciate it and of course leave a like. Thank you very very much. So troopers, the first thing I'm going to actually give you guys when it comes to tips is actually for the weapons. Well, there's one thing I really do like doing, and when it comes to tier 1 in snipers or DMRs especially, there's one certain mode I like going on. If you go onto portal, go and look through portal, and you're going to go and actually see some hardcore servers. It could be conquest, it could be rush, it could be any type of hardcore server you're looking for. Go and play them hardcore servers, because the reason why is, is because when you play them servers, obviously it's a one shot, it has really low health. Well, that's going to be really good when it comes to sniping because you don't need to aim on the head you could just shoot them in the body or even in the foot you can use a dmr and that's a lot of fun as well just one shot and everyone and just doing that itself is going to be way more easy to tier one your guns i know a lot of people do struggle when it comes to sniping so something like this is going to really help you out like it helped me out so much that i have tier one all my snipers so that would be my first tip so when it comes to snipers or dmrs or any type of weapon really if you want to go into hardcore because that's going to be a lot more easier to tier one your weapons the next one so this is as for the specialist Casper, over the couple of months he has been nerfed when it comes to certain XP, but there was one good thing what he can actually offer to you now, and that's just flying around with his drone and just pinging people. Yes, you don't get as much XP as you used to, you get about 25 XP by each spot now, but you also got to consider by the spot assist, so you're going to also get more XP. This is something what is also insane to be playing Breakthrough, XL Rush, something like that is going to be really good, because the amount of spot assists you're going to be getting is absolutely absolutely unreal and you're going to get a lot of points because of that and the bonus of it all is you're going to be tier one in casper at the same time so it's literally just a win-win situation when it is coming to modes and all that playing the most chaotic modes especially like a portal mode like rush xl is very important you can play in the support class give all your teammates all that heals and all that ammo and guys you'll be really surprised about the amount of xp you actually do get i was doing stuff like this just giving a bunch of ammo and bunch of heals to my teammate and I even tiered one their ammo crate. That's how much of ammo I was giving to my teammates. Of course, if they died, I revive them. And you'd be absolutely surprised of how much you can rank up just by doing that. Just by being a team player. That is it. Being a team player, reviving, giving ammunition, giving heals. And that's all you need to do. I was getting up like the top of the leaderboard by only having like two kills, but a bunch of revives. So literally just playing the insane chaotic mode and then playing in the support class, reviving, ammunition, heals. All of that is going to give you a lot loads of xp i mean absolutely loads really for me when it actually comes to meta of a specialist or anything like that playing in the support class is probably your go-to when it comes to ranking up the next tip i'm going to give you guys well i actually need to give a shout out to the cat woman so basically she actually has her own custom server and it's very important what it is so if you go into portal you actually go and host your own custom server and what this offers is it's basically just bots on the other team no unfortunately you can't rank up insanely quick because this is by a restriction XP. But the cool thing is you can actually unlock all the attachments and that is the most important thing. Getting all the attachments, getting all that when it comes to progressing for your weapons, for tier 1 of them, or just getting them attachments to, so you can just jump online. Every time there's new weapons, I always jump into these servers so I can rank up my attachments way more quicker. And you can progress your tier 1 up to 360 kills. Only progress at the tier 1 with the amount of attachments you need to unlock. Once you've done that, you can't progress anymore on them type of servers and then you need to go to standard multiplayer so you can actually tier one and progress the rest of that weapon so them modes are really important if you do want to host your own mode then this is the code for you make sure you're using aa 7 wr 3 i'll also show that up on screen as well so make sure you go and enter that code in so you can host your own server and then progress all your attachments and the next one well let's be real is all by good weapons in the game if you use a good weapon then you're going to have a really good time about for 2042 a lot of people that probably just use Using the wrong weapon and let's be real 
if you're using the wrong weapon then you're clearly not going to rank up as good because you're not using the right weapon to have a good time in the battlefield so what i'll do is troopers i'll show you a couple of class setups and you can go and copy them so the first one is the acwr this is what i'm going for the standard dot sight with the thermal gotta go with that wrap suppressor be very sneaky when it comes to flanks default muzzle is really good i'm using the laser sight with the extended mags or you can go even more crazy and go with the pp29 is basically the same layout and then i'm using a rat suppressor with the champion muzzle brake and then standard issue subsonic and then high powered or you can go for like an NMG type, like an RPK. I use Iron Sight. Then I use the Tactical Compensator, the Cobra Grip with the extended mags. You can use weapons like that. You're going to actually have a lot of fun with them type of guns. But Troopers, this is a big thing right now. You guys need to let me know in the comment section what is the best way to level up. If I miss something in this video, then you guys got to let me know in the comment section below so we can help out others. So if there's any tips you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, Troopers, thank you very much for listening to me talk. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave like, subscribe, be a part pink or garmy, and I see troopers on the battlefield.